So here you can see uh, the overview. So that shows contextually relevant suggestions when you're in, in the car. We've got navigation, um, communication, media apps, and car apps. Uh, so if we have a look at Google Play Music, uh, it's Google Play Music. Um, all the audio controls you would expect to see. Um, so it's very simple to play music in the car. Um, we've got a, a menu accessible here, which is designed while you're driving. So it has things you'd expect in Google Play Music, like um, being able to listen, looking at playlists, radio, um, queue. Um, and the other part we announced were third-party media mm -hmm. apps. So these are all of the apps that are on this phone that use these APIs. Um, and developers can customize what the app looks like. So if you look at Joyride, um, they get the ability to change the accent color, um, also change the menu structures here. So different colored menu iconography, different menu structures. Um, so it makes it really simple for them to adapt an existing application to work in, in Android Auto. If we switch back here, you can see back to play music. We also have the dialer. So these are people you might want to call or receive calls from. Um, you can also pull up a keypad, type a number in. Um, and then, of course, Google Maps. So this is Google Maps adapted for the car. Um, I can just press the microphone button on the steering wheel. Navigate to Alamo Square. Navigate to Alamo Square, San Francisco. Great. Loads maps. It's in the back. Head to a fourth street northeast on Minna Street. In 600 feet, use any lane to turn right onto fourth street. And the great thing is if I'm in a different application, so I might be on a phone call, and the problem is usually you can miss your turn really easily. Um, but what you'll see is a heads up notification here. So it really doesn't matter which application you're in, you can still find out about upcoming turns. I'll just move the gardens. Um, of course, you can look at alternate routes. So there's two ways we can get to this place. Um, one of them is further, but they take the same amount of time. So this takes into account road traffic conditions. Um, if I just quit Google Maps, I quit navigation. Um, you can see here. Again, a really simple menu structure. So we've got suggestions. Um, these are things like home and work or places you've interacted with on, on Google web search or Google Maps. Um, we've got categories that are really easy to get to while you're driving, like gas stations, and you can toggle road traffic on or off. And then while you're parked, you can bring your keyboard up and type just as you would if you're on Google Maps on your, your mobile phone. So if you type SFO, and you can 